Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another tablescape video. <laughs> We're not doing a tablescape video today. We are doing a collection video slash haul because 90% uh, of this video is going to be brand new pieces to me. I went to the mother load of all estate sales for depression glass last weekend. Um, if y'all have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I collect pink depression glass um, and I've been looking for specific pieces to complete parts of my collection, specifically dinner plates for my America Sweetheart pattern. Um, but sadly, that was the one thing I did not find. I did find other dinner plates. And as you can see, I found quite a few other pieces. So I have left the tags on everything that I bought at this last sale. I'm going to go over the pieces that were in my collection first so that you know at the end which pieces are brand new to me and which pieces I had, but I'll be honest, 90% uh, of this is new. I had these cups. I only have two on the table. I have six total. You've seen these in so many of my tablescapes because I love them. They are footed water goblets. I don't remember the pattern for these right now, um, but I will put it up on the screen because I've had these for a couple years now and I use them all the time. From there, I do have several pieces that are not on the table because they are not part of a collection. Um, like I have a water pitcher that I actually use all the time, every day. I have a salt and pepper shaker. I have a lemon juicer or I suppose you could use it to juice anything. Um, I have a few uh, butter molds like uh, buddies and little cows and chickens things like that that are more decorative than for setting an actual table. So I did not bring those to the table. If you would like to see them all in a haul video like this, let me know. Um, but for now, we're going to go over the pieces that I had, the pieces that I just got. So these cups, from there, I only had a few pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and move these. I had these tiny dessert plates. So this is part of that America Sweetheart pattern. These were made in the Great Depression, like the rest of the glass, between 1930 and 1936 in Pennsylvania, which is really fun because my dad is from Pennsylvania and my grandma was born in 1936. I bought them not because of those facts, but I connected them because of those facts. Um, but I bought them for the scalloped edges and the like filigree kind of pattern. A lot of depression glass has flowers on it, which I'm not, I don't dislike, but I'm not a huge fan of. I love the filigree slash lace kind of look. So I, first time I saw these, I loved them. And actually the first piece I ever got was not these tiny dessert plates or bread and butter plates, but the platter. Now, when I first picked this up, I thought, I have one sitting to the side here, so I'll, I'll try to steal from that stack. Um, I thought this platter was a dinner plate. That is why I bought it. And it wasn't until I got it home that I realized it was not a dinner plate at all. It was a platter for this uh, series. So it is a 12 inch platter. It is all the exact same uh, design. So the dinner plates are actually 10 inches. Salad plates are eight inches. The bread and butter plates or dessert plates are six inches. So if you stack them all together, they make a glorious stack of depression glass. And one day it is my goal to get the dinner plates. So far, I have not found any. I have, on the other hand, now picked up three of the platters. And so if I can get a fourth one, I'm thinking I may use them as uh, chargers so that I have a full stack of the America Sweetheart, even though they are not meant as chargers and I could easily use them as the intended platters. I think they may use depression glass for Christmas this year because there's so many new pieces. So when I went to this estate sale, I would say this is not a normal estate sale. Um, the person who this estate sale was their home was a dealer of depression glass and so it was everywhere and they also had these lovely tags 
saying what the uh, collection, what the pattern was, and what their price was. And this price I have found to be fairly consistent with replacements.com, which of course is the biggest place, most reputable place to get any type of glass or uh, China pieces. They are of course a little higher than your average seller, especially if you find pieces at an estate sale or at a thrift store, especially if you find them at a, a thrift store of some type, you can often find much better prices. I will tell you at the end what I paid for 90% of this and you will be shocked because it is a fraction, a fraction of the cost. But this platter was supposed to be $32. I believe the very first one that I picked up, I paid about $15 for. And then a few months ago, I paid $20 at an estate sale for my third platter. And the stack I have here of eight salad plates. So eight salad plates in this pattern and the third platter. I was very excited. Um, and that is one more piece that I didn't have. So when I saw that this estate sale, the, the people that run it, I follow them on Facebook. It's very dangerous. You should not ever do that. Um, they always post walkthroughs of what the house is going to look like. I always watch to see if there's anything I might need. I don't need any of it. Um, and I saw these a whole stack of the six inch cereal bowls. Now in today's standard, uh, this is a very tiny cereal bowl, but this is the America's Sweetheart cereal bowl style. You can see it's the exact same pattern with the scalloped edges, with the scalloped etchings, filigree on in between each panel and on the center. These were listed at $20 a piece and then marked down to $3 individually. Now, although each piece had an individual price, if I had walked up and just bought this bowl, it would have been $3 because I had a whole table of pink glass. He did give me a uh, winner takes all price for the whole table. So I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these six inch cereal bowls. They are all in pristine condition, no chips, no dings. I love them. I also got in this pattern, this eight inch serving bowl is exact same design as the uh, cereal bowls with the scalloped edges, the etchings in between each panel and the seam etching in the middle. It was marked for $20 and all it says is pink America's Sweetheart serving bowl. This is more like what my husband would have used for a cereal bowl. I had to buy him big Tupperware pieces. I'm not sure that's healthy either, but that's neither here nor there any longer. Uh, the other thing that I will mention is that if you look on replacements.com, America's Sweetheart is one of those patterns that has, um, you know, several pieces in the collection that are listed there. The serving bowl here is not listed. And watching YouTube videos, I found another up wonderful lady who shared her collection, which is what inspired me to do this. Um, and she had an oval vegetable bowl of the same pattern. So even though replacements has a pretty comprehensive uh, list, it is obviously not complete. There are obviously more pattern pieces out there for this collection that I may come across one day. Who knows? I'm still after those dinner plates and the room soup bowls and the footed sherbet bowls. But speaking of sherbet bowls, I did pick up these. Look how dainty and sweet. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six of these. This is the Mayfair sherbet dishes and they have little tiny roses on each side. I liked them because you will learn as you collect uh, depression glass that not all of them are the exact same pink. Some are slightly darker, some are slightly lighter. That's fine, but I thought these were a good match and they were marked at $27 retail price, marked down to three a piece, even though, like I said, I did get the best deal ever. So those are all here. You will also see one of my two favorite pieces, which is the footed candy dish back there. I went, in addition for this pattern, I also try to get anything that is an unusual shape 
or something that I haven't seen before. And I haven't seen a lot of candy dishes in this pink depression glass. It's not to say they're not out there. They're just not as common. If you go to any antique store, you're going to find pink depression glass, green depression glass. It comes in amber, white, um, yellow, lots of different colors. Um, it is not a hard thing to find, but there are a lot more common pieces and then there are a lot more rare pieces. And so I just, I liked that little candy dish. It's nothing I think specifically special. It doesn't have a pattern on it. And it was marked at I think $35 down to 20. I liked it. <laughs> I also picked up, trying to figure out how I organize these here. It doesn't really matter. I also picked up these five Royal Lace. These are the five ounce tumblers. So they have a five ounce and they have a 12 ounce, which of course now I'm on the hunt for the 12 ounce. I mean, I picked some up because they matched the two dinner plates that I did get that were similar to my pattern. I really like this Royal Lace pattern because it is similar to the America Sweetheart. It doesn't have any florals. It is a lace etched design with scallops. Um, and I thought it complemented the America Sweetheart really nicely. And so part of the fun is mixing and matching in some cases. Um, while I would eventually love to have a full uh, stack of this entire pattern collection, it's okay to mix and match in the meantime. And perhaps I will have a combination of the Royal Lace and the America Sweetheart by the time all is said and done, because I do really actually like that the scallops are not identical. So these are the dinner plates for the Royal Lace. You can see it does have similar scallops. It does have similar etchings. It is not identical. And I do kind of like that when you stack them, they are uh, more easily identified as different as opposed to when you stack all of these, they're the exact same scallops all the way down. They blend together really nicely just depends on which look you're going for. So these are actually priced at $35 a piece and they are a nine and a half inch plate as opposed to America's Sweetheart is supposed to be a 10 inch dinner plate. As the other thing to know when you are looking at depression glass, I like to bring a tape measure so that not all the pieces are the same sizes even if they are the same pieces. All dinner plates are not created the same size, not all salad plates are the same size. So if you're looking for a 10 inch dinner plate, make sure you bring a tape measure so that you can keep track of exactly how big pieces you are that you're looking at. Last up here, another piece that I did not get at this estate sale. These still have the tag on them because mom just gave them to me. So this is something mom got from Haywire Vintage. She knows I collect <laughs> Apparently the dogs were very excited about these because I see no reason they should be barking. <laughs> anyway, she knows the two things I have been on the hunt for are the dinner plates for this collection or a similar pattern and milkshake glasses. Now these are not actual milkshake glasses. I believe they are just tall uh, sweet tea tumblers is what the pattern says online. These are the tiara pattern. But similarly, they have the filigree, which she knows I like. They do have some flowers that look like they may be daisies or um, sunflowers, just a, a you know similar flat like flower pattern. And I like that they do have a flower around the base as well. I think they're really pretty. And on top of that, I want to set an entire table with all of my pieces and when I do that having you can see what I was talking about with the different colors this is a darker pink than these but I think all together they look beautiful I like that they are slightly different designs they are slightly different etchings um, but I think having them be different enough is what pulls them together you can tell they are definitely all pink depression glass they are not the same. So while I do love these, they are sweet tea pieces, not necessarily, 
milkshake glasses. Um, if I never find milkshake glasses specifically, I would be more than happy with these. I'm very excited she got them for me. But if I do find milkshake glasses, then I'll have both. And then I'll have four pieces and I can add the sherbet dishes. All right, from here, we have a couple other pieces that I love. My, my favorite piece is still on the table and you haven't seen it yet. Um, and then a few pieces that I don't care as much about, but because I had quite a bit of paint depression glass, he gave me in my collection because they were just trying to get rid of things on the last day. That's this stack. But they're so beautiful and I'll take it. So this is one of my favorite pieces and it is a console bowl, which means it is a bowl, but it is not a deep, traditionally scooped bowl. Um, you could put this on a console table with some potpourri or something like that. You could also use it as a serving dish, but it's not necessarily meant to be a serving dish. And you can see that because it is so lacy. It has full etchings all the way around it, all the way down. It is slightly footed. It is beautiful. It was marked as a $24 bowl with $15 on the orange tag. And it is considered part of the Madrid pattern. It's the only piece of the Madrid pattern I picked up, but I thought it was different enough that I really liked it. And I may put it out as just everyday decor, or I may say, <laughs> really? You guys just want me in the video. Okay, go lay down. Thank you. It's so helpful. I may say that for a serving piece, or I may put it out as a potpourri bowl. We will see. From there, I did want a few more dinner plates because as much as I love these, it was still only two in that royal lace pattern. And so I picked these up. There are six of them and they are a floral. They are a pink rose, which I like, but is not my favorite, but they are a pink Sharon nine and a half inch dinner plate. And I liked that they had similar lines with the etching in between. I think this is actually embossed because it's raised. It's not etched onto here. Um, and I do like it. it. does go with my other pieces. And since there are six of them, I now have eight dinner plates. If I needed to set a table for eight people, I could, even though the likelihood is that I won't have eight people over at the same time. At Christmas, I will typically have anywhere from five to seven. So eight plates is ideal if I have five to seven this year. In addition, since I picked up these plates, I picked up the matching platter. It has the same, you know, two bars with the roses etched in between all the way around. And it was marked at $32 with a $10 orange sticker. It's a larger platter. And then I picked up this smaller platter you know, ham, cranberries, all kinds of stuff you need serving dishes for. Um, this one has more of a leaf pattern. It kind of looks like the dogwood plates, which is in that last stack we'll get to. I don't think it's the same pattern and it was not marked as any specific pattern, but that is what it looks like to me. And I just liked to have an extra platter. <laughs> all right, let's go through the stack of things they gave me and then save the best piece for last. So of the ones they gave me, most of them are this pink dogwood grill plate, um, grill plate, pink dogwood pattern. Now these were made by the same people as the American Sweetheart pattern, both from that same factory in Pennsylvania. And so they were in the same section, probably where they gave them to me. Um, they are the same color pink. I got four of these grill plates, which are much bigger than a standard 10 inch dinner plate. Um, I don't love grill plates because they do have these dividers. And typically when I'm using fancy pieces like this, even as an everyday glass, depression glass was made to be an everyday dish. I like to stack my plates. I could use these, literally use them, but I'm not going to put depression glass in the dishwasher. Don't really wanna go back to hand washing. I like that they are heavier than say the America Sweetheart pattern 
and less likely to break. If I wanted to set a table uh, for smaller people that I was less worried about breaking, I would definitely use these. Especially since they gave them to me, I wouldn't be as worried about them breaking. But let's be honest, any small people that come to my house are going to be eating off of uh, not glass. On top of the grill plates, I got 12 of the eight inch salad plates in that dogwood pattern. I love dogwoods. My mom is one of her favorite trees. She's always planted them in our front yard all the way from when we lived in North Carolina to now. Um, the only thing that I was talking about, you can see that eight inches is very small compared to you know, the traditional eight inch plate stacked on a 10 inch plate. So if I decide that I don't have room for them or I don't like them, I will find something else to do with them. But in the meantime, you don't turn away from the pressure glass. They also gave me this beautiful bowl. It is a scalloped edge, which I like. And it looks like it is part of the Miss America uh, collection, which is the most popular most common piece of depression glass pattern, at least as far as I know of. I do have my water pitcher is in this pattern. It is probably my least favorite pattern and is most distinct uh, is these little raised squares, kind of like triangles. I don't dislike any depression glass, but it's just not my favorite. In the meantime, you always need bowls for serving mashed potatoes or corn or casseroles. So why would you turn down a bowl? <laughs> then we have another bowl. This is like our candy dish. It is not a specific pattern. It is not a specific piece. It is just sweet and scalloped and you could put something tiny like this any on any table to hold sauces or candies or um, you know small utensils. I'm not sure what you would use it for specifically because it is a small bowl but it's a small bowl. Last but not least, my favorite thing is this butter dish. Now I have been wanting a butter dish for a long time and I didn't wanna just go out and buy one, but I do not have one. Literally, I went to set my table for Christmas and Thanksgiving last year, the first two years who actually hosted for my family and realized I had no butter dish of any type. And so I just put it on a little serving a platter and it worked fine but this is glorious and it is tagged with pink patrician butter dish which i am not 100 percent sure what pattern that is i did look it up um but i don't have any of the pieces and i'm not sure what makes it so valuable now i do know butter dishes with the lid because of course two pieces you're always going to lose the top or break a piece are one of the more valuable pieces of depression glass it is tagged with $235 and then the orange tag says 20. So I literally didn't even look at either of those prices until I got home. My mom actually picked that up when we were shopping because she just knew I was looking for a butter dish and it was a very pretty one. They had several, they also had several biscuit jars, which I'm a little disappointed I didn't grab, but I was trying to be good and I already had quite a bit. I was going to go out, look at my table, put some things back. I had this whole stack ready to go back when he came over and said, oh, I'll just throw that in for you. So now I wish that I had included a butter dish or a butter dish, a biscuit jar, because he probably would have just rolled it in. But when you look at all these pieces, everything on the table, except for the salad, plates, dessert plates, one of these platters right here, these cups. So everything here over and this main stack is what I picked up at this estate sale. And while a lot of the pieces are all marked at $15, $20, $20, $10, $20, $3, $3, he gave it to me, all of it for $100 pretty darn good. That's pretty darn good. I will have to add it all up to see how much it would have been if I had paid just the 33333 price or the actual prices that he has the original, you know, retailer 
the 24 to 35 price and I will put that up on the screen just because I'm curious so I imagine y'all are too <laughs> If you'd like to see the rest of my collection, I can do a companion part two video of the pieces that didn't fit on the table this time, like that salt and pepper, like the juicer, like the water dish, like some of my more decorative pieces. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to start taking stickers off and washing these so that I can put them away. I hope you liked this video. If you collect any of these pieces, uh, leave me a pink heart down below because I'm excited and I want to see how excited you are. And let me know what your, what your number one pick would have been if you could have only gotten one thing. I would have probably had to pick these small bowls and the serving bowl because they were all together. They were all in a stack from my collection, from my pattern, because that is what I specifically went for. But if I had to leave that butter dish, I might have cried. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.